Well, hello, and welcome to another episode of Raider Roast, my rig, episode 61. That's so many rigs, and yet there's still 7,800 emails to go on the email account. If you have your own rig that you would like to see rated and or roasted, I will link down below in the description if you'd like to submit your own rig for a future episode of Raider Roast, my rig. And without further ado, let's get to the roasting, shall we? Kai, yai, yai. We've got some serious gear going on here. This is like, this is like you are, like you were allotted. <laughs> your wife was like, listen, like you were in like some bigger place and, you, and your wife was like, you have that room. You have, you have the spare room. And you were like, okay, no, I can, I can make it work. Watch me. <sighs> That's plenty of room. Eesh. And you're just stuffing and shoehorning all of your gear that was previously in like multiple rooms or one big room into this space. You got a little bit of everything. You got diesel stuff, angle stuff, uh, synergy stuff. You have a uh, quad cortex. You have, I don't even know what that is, that control surface. Um, you know, you got a desk, you got a full tilt recording setup, multiple guitars. Uh, it's cluttered, but it's, it's kind of the good kind of cluttered. I don't hate it at all. Um, uh, that big foam foam pool noodle to simulate a pro recording console. I back it. It's custom. Did you did you install that? Did you put tape on that? It's custom. That's what I tell people. Three and a half out of five beards. <laughs> Again. <laughs> okay. You better be able to fit that stuff in the uh, the corner of the new house, honey. No, no, I got it. It's fine. It's fine. I can, I can make do with the corner of the front room or the rec room, I'm, but man, did you manage? You got a snake bite. What is with snake bites? Yeah, the last one has a snake bite as well. LTD snake bite. You got a Marshall Micros or mini stack. Got a bunch of orange amps, Soldano, Angle. Uh, you have a tube amp, Dr. Silencer. I mean, your pedal board's tidy. Everything, everything is in its place. And this is a very, very tidy rig. I'm sure it's awesome. You need an amp search is what you need. But I digress. I mean, this is, this is making uh, use of the space. When you can't go, when you can't go out, go up. I'll give this four to five beards. <laughs> so there's the bed off to the right. And, and you're like, no, I don't, I don't need to get rid of anything. I can fit it. I can fit it in my room. I can fit it in my room. It's fine. 30 minutes later, crate stack next to your bed, Randall stack next to your bed with all of your, uh, your soccer. Hey, Sanders, Sounders. I'm from Seattle. Sounders, go Sounders. I'm not really into soccer, but Seattle. Um, Dean Jackson Solar. I think you probably play jazz, if I'm not mistaken. Overall, though, uh, you know, it's tidy. I don't know why you have those microphones set up. Are you really recording in there? Are you really recording in there? I don't think you are. But just in case, you got microphones set up. Your pedal board's tidy. I mean, I haven't seen one of those crate amps in, God, 20 years. The Randall stack is cool. Um, that limited edition 667 Randall, Kirk Hammett uh, amplifier, cool. Uh, overall, I would give uh, I would give you a rig three and a half out of five beards. Whoa, I don't even, wait. What kind of Firebird is that? Full size humbuckers, reverse headstock. I don't even know, what, someone comment and tell me what kind of Firebird that is, because I have never seen one in that specific configuration. It's not a studio because it has binding. It looks older? I don't even know what that is, but I want it. Oh my goodness. Here is here is a man, and you are a man. You, this is definitely not a chick. Uh, here is a guy who wants to, he's eager to learn. Look at all those, look at all those charts on the, uh, on the wall behind these guitars. Got a couple of Gibsons, got an LTD Eclipse, Deluxe, love that. 
your pedal board's tidy, and then you have an iPad, so you're practicing just with an iPad and a set of headphones. And if you need to, a Boss Katana, or maybe you're using the positive grid stuff into the Boss Katana. Okay. You're probably in your bedroom, judging by the uh, the dresser behind the LTD. Um, this is your little office, maybe. I'm not really sure. However, um, it's, it's compact, can't hit on it. The All the scales though, like I can just picture you like playing and be like, is this supposed to be a, a, a sus too? Is that a sus? I don't, I don't, uh, where is it? Where is it? Those court, those court posters stress me out, real talk. But that Gibson is fire. That Firebird, whoo, so hot. At any rate, you know what? Just, just based on the Firebird, I'm gonna give you four out of five beards. <laughs> so here we have, okay, listen. Uh, my roommates gave me this half of the of the front room of the apartment, so I'm gonna do with it what I want. I'm gonna hang some guitars. I'm gonna have some amps. They're gonna be on their own little riser next to the shelving units with the old typewriter, so I can print, you know, type up a letter and write it to a newspaper reporting the actions of Spider-Man. Have a couple of headphones, uh, a big old clock. I mean, this is a very minimalist setup, and I like minimalist. You got the couch next to you, so uh, you can put people to sleep with your uh, your, your garbage riffs, maybe. Um, I have garbage riffs too. All my all my riffs are garbage, so I can say that I'm an authority on garbage riffs. And you're right next to the uh, the circuit breaker. Okay. <laughs> hey, can you? Uh, the microwave popped again. Can you get the uh, get the microwave? Try to make some popcorn. Thanks. You like Strats? You like Fender? I like Fender couple amps, the Yamaha THD amplifier, so sick. Uh, overall, I, I get this rig, four to five beards. <laughs> is that a Tysco Del Rey guitar? What is that? I'm trying to, no, I don't know what that is. I don't know what this guitar is. This is like a random 60s guitar. Your pedal board stresses me out a little bit. Also, are those like pieces of carpet that you have on the, uh, on the, on the 78 Distortion MXR. You have pieces of carpet to set on on the, the pedal onto. Um, you have some random things on, like a Bruce Springsteen poster out of a magazine or something next to the air conditioner. Smart, because you gotta stay cool when you're playing those fire ass licks, right? Um, this this looks like you're in the corner of a thrift store and, and this is your stuff. This isn't the thrift store stuff, but this is what you do to pass the time while people look at, you know, old oil cans and uh, old furniture and things like that. It's probably very hot too. I don't know where this is. However, uh, your pedal board's a little messy. Uh, it's not the messiest we've ever seen by far. However, it's right around, uh, it's, I, I don't know. I don't really have a dog in this fight. I'm just like, yeah, when I see this rig. So, um, I'm gonna give you three out of five beards. And last but not least, this is a submission from my Discord server. If you wanna go and hang out over on my Discord server, I will link down below in the description. And this is actually a really decent rig. Although the shelving, I get why you have the shelving. You have the shelving for, you know, organizational purposes. So you can have the, uh, the Mesa Boogie Nomad and the Super Crush 100 kinda where you need them to be, along with the head rush, uh, full range cab. I get it. However, looks like a nice place. The shelving looks out of place. It's awkward and it's weird. And I might cut myself on it. I might, because like I've never cut myself on sharp objects before, like shelving that I'll admit to. You got a Jackson, you have uh, an Ibanez, and you have, I think that's a Schachter? A Schachter? Overall, clean setup. I like the mini Marshall cab. Uh, and shout out to the Mesa Nomad, unsung hero of an amplifier. That's a great amplifier. And I prefer that amplifier over a lot of Mesa Boogie amplifiers of the 90s. They were releasing some really weird stuff in the 90s, like the Subway Rocket and that kind of stuff. Anyway, overall, your rig's all right. Your rig's all right. It's kind of general. Um, 
Does it uh, does it blow my dress up? No. Um, does it make me want to vomit though? No. 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 So I would give this rig a solid three out of five beards. And that does it for this episode of Rate or Roast My Rig, episode sixty-one. If you'd like to see your own rig on an episode of Rate or Roast My Rig, I will link down below in the description. And with that, you've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.